John chapter 4, verse 48. Then said Yahweh unto him, Except you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. I want to give our praises and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash, forgive me the spirit, to do this testimony. Now, in this testimony, I started at this scripture uh, for a reason, uh, but you can read the whole chapter on your own, okay? But in this scripture, okay, Yahweh Shai was speaking, okay, and we have to understand that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai expects us to believe, man, okay, to believe without all these extreme signs, okay, period, man, okay, and this scripture tells you that, man, the way they see it, man, okay, you don't need all these magnificent signs to believe, okay, but if you do believe, okay, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will just drop down signs, man, at random times, man, to lift you up. Okay, you understand what I just said? To lift you up, okay, because you believe in the first place. All right? Now, in this testimony that I'm going into, it's about fearing the Lord. Okay, and Yahweh Bashim Shai sent me a sign, okay, now, I didn't need this sign to believe. I already believed. But because I do believe, he sent me a sign anyway, man. Okay, to confirm, to build me up. Okay, and to ultimately tell you brothers and sisters. Okay, about what happened. Okay, so the past week on my channel, I've been speaking a lot about fearing the Lord and the power of it and the benefit of it and, you know, how powerful it is, man. Okay, the root of wisdom. Okay, is to fear the Lord. That's the root of wisdom. All right. And we know wisdom is power. Okay, so if fearing the Lord is the root of wisdom, okay, then that is the power right there, man. Okay, you got to examine those roots. Okay, and and the different lessons and you know that I was doing, it was about that. It was about Jake putting more effort and more energy into fearing Yahweh Bashim Al Shai and seeing the power thereof. OK, the confidence thereof. All right. Which is why I'm going to go here. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 26. And the fear of the Lord is a strong confidence and his children shall have a place of refuge. Let's read that again. In the fear of the Lord and the fear of Yahweh Bashim Shai is a strong confidence and his children shall have a place of refuge of safety. OK, and we understand that we need safety, man. OK, we are walking in the valley of the shadow of death. So we need safety 24 seven. OK, those are the facts, especially when Esau come down like a flood. OK, what you going to do? You're going to take on Esau and his army by yourself. OK, think about it, man. You're going to need protection. OK, you're going to need protection. From Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You're going to need that refuge. Okay, so back to the testimony. I was at work taking a break. Okay, and over by my job, and there's a big old pond, huge, okay, with all kinds of ducks, and you know, it's pretty big. And it has a nice sitting area. Okay. And this was nighttime. So a lot of times when I want to get away, have a little break or whatever. I walk over there and go sit down, man, by myself and just meditate, you know, and the sky's real open. I can just see everything. I'm just chilling, meditating and zoning in on fearing the Lord. OK, and while I was doing that, I was feeling joy, joy in my spirit, because it tells you in the scriptures how in the fear of the Lord is joy in that, man. You have joy, that crown of wisdom, the rejoicing, a merry heart. OK, a merry mind. OK, it says in the scriptures. So I was in that spirit, man. OK, I was happy that my mind was focusing on fearing the Lord, man, because that is powerful. When you have the wisdom and you understand the power of it, man, you get happy when your spirit is on the right track of fearing the Lord. OK, and you're taking it more seriously. You're taking a more um, a tighter grip. OK, I should say on fearing the Lord. OK, and when I was meditating about doing another lesson. For you brothers and sisters, all of a sudden, an angel, man, just zipped by over my head, man. 
in the sky. I'm talking about it just like zip. Okay. Now that was a sign. Okay. That was a sign to say, man, keep going. Keep going. Yes. Focus on fear me. Okay. Then I will pour out more wisdom on you. Okay. I will give you more wisdom. I will protect you more. Okay. That place of refuge. Okay. So that was to pick me up in the spirit, but not only me, that was for me to talk about in this testimony to pick you up in the spirit, man. If you have been paying attention, if you have been following instructions of your Yahweh Shema Shai and his men, okay, we don't do these lessons for no reason. It's all inspired by your Yahweh Shema Shai speaking through us. So if you've been following, okay, and paying attention, okay about zoning deeper into the fear of the Lord, then this should pick you up. Okay, because there's angels encamped all around you when you fear the Lord, as we know, Psalms 34, verse 7. Okay, so one of the angels decided to show himself over my head. Okay, period, man, and that felt good, man. That felt real good. Okay, because I didn't need that to fear the Lord. I didn't need that, you know, to have joy. I had joy while I saw it. So that was a bonus. That was a cherry on top. Okay. And your how about you, Shah will do that to you, man. Okay. He will do that to you, man, to pick you up even higher in the spirit. Okay. Because you are doing things that are pleasing until your how about you, Shah. All right. And we know when you fear the Lord, you're getting closer to your how about you, Shah. Okay. So very important. Now let's go into the refuge. Uh, the definition of refuge on Google, okay? It says, a condition of being safe or sheltered from pursuit, danger, or trouble, okay? And we know Jacob's trouble, man, is about to pop off, okay? We need that shelter, okay, from that trouble, okay? We need to be delivered from that danger, from that pursuit, from that flood. It talks about the devil coming down with a flood, Okay, like a flood, man. Okay, he's coming after us. So we need that intervention. We need that refuge. We need that safe place. And I'm telling you right now in this testimony, you're not going to get that safe place. You're not going to get that refuge if you do not focus on fearing the Lord, man. If you do not put more effort into fearing your how about you, I shy. Okay, and departing from evil. Okay, that's a fact. Okay, you got to show your how about you, shot that you fear him. Okay, you got to show it, man. You got to make moves of fear. It has to be real. Okay, it can't be fake, man. It has to be real. It can't just be all talk. It has to be real. Okay, you're going to have a lot of guys in Israel that claim to be a man of the Lord or believe in your how about you, shot. You're going to have a lot of men that, you know, they dress up and they're all about the outward appearance, but inwardly, they don't fear the Lord. Inwardly, they're wolves. Inwardly, they are feeding their own belly, okay? Not doing the will of Yahweh like they're supposed to or like they say they're doing. Okay, so Yahweh Bashem Shah know the difference, man. Okay, he searched deeply into the inward parts, deeply. He know what you're about. He knows everything. You can't hide Okay, so in this testimony, man, you know, hopefully that was comforting and uplifting. But, yeah, that happened, man. Uh, an angel went right over my head as I was meditating about fearing him more. Okay. All right. Getting a tighter grip on that crown, man. Okay. Period, man. So I hope you were edified with that. I want to give our praises and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakha Kodash, if you give me a spirit to do this testimony, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to your Akimak there that's doing the truth in sincerity. Shalom.